Hello my country people, welcome back to Spice Channel TV. A pressure group in the southeast, Ohane is a think tank, has called on the House of Representatives to investigate the activities of the disbanded Ugochinere-led committee, investigating the NNPCL under Mali Kari. And the think tank group has described the 15-man committee as scandalous which must be investigated, adding that Ugo Chinere and his cohorts were positioned to impose their Simster agenda on the House and the Nigerian Republic. So they've been called to investigate the activities of Ugo Chinere led committee, investigating the NNPCL under engineer Mali uh, Kayari. And according to a statement signed by Dr. Azubi K and Dr. Cletus, the coordinator, and the deputy coordinator in Enugu, the group asked the lower chamber of the National Assembly to mandate the disbanded committee to account for its shameful conduct, which interestingly came to light after visiting the Dangote refinery. It similar accused the committee of trying to drag the hard-earned reputation of Mali Kayari led NNPCL to needless mod and altercations, maintaining that the committee's activities were a scam and mere distraction. So, guys, there have been a lot of statements recently consigning the member of House of Representatives representing Idaito North and South Federal constituency of Imo State, Honorable Ikenga Ugo Chinere. According to many, launched a simster plot to undermine the administration of President Bola Tinibu. According to them, this plot involves rallying opposition forces in the country against the administration's preparatory to the 2027 general elections. A legislator on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP Gochinere, has in recent times focused attention. According to them, oh, on the marketing the administration of Tinibu by insinuating the, criti the, the crucial petroleum sector into alleged opacity and corruption that some members in the House of Representatives are consigned in the subtle challenge in the subtle campaign currently embarked on by the opposition lawmaker Ugo Chinere to target the petroleum sector and to portray the APC-led federal uh, administration officials supervising the sector as complicit in the alleged maladministration of the sector. So, the statement titled Plea for the Removal of Ugo Chinere as Chairman House Committee on Petroleum noted that Ugo Chinere and his House of Representative Committee members, you know, are trying to instigate fivorious allegation against the group CEO of the NNPCL, Mali Kayari, that they are trying to instigate him, that the scandalous committee of the 15 man led by Right Honorable Ikenga Ugochinere must be investigated, which will serve as a detriment to others. That Ugochinere is abusing his position as the ad hoc house committee on petroleum products for reasons best known to him and him alone, which are hardly consistent with public interest. Rather than facing the crucial tax, the Ugochinere led committee jumped into a spiteful conclusion that Kayari and the chief executive officer of the NMDPR, Farouk Ahmed, should be sacrificed even before scratching the surface of a thorough investigation. And it is a shame that they are hiding under the clock of the deputy spokesman of the House of Reps, Philip. Ugochinere ignited a media agenda against the NNPCL management, feeding his colleagues in the House, especially the leadership and the general public with falsehood and a deliberate attempt to destroy 
Kayari's reputation by criticizing him unfairly and dishonestly to please those whose bidding he is willing to do at all costs. But in the swift intervention of the 12 members of the House under the aegis of um, Agenda 1, Gochinera and his cohorts were, po were poised to impose their sinister agenda on the House and the Nigerian public. So, it's not close to the development in the House of Reps. Points fingers at Gochinere's Simster plot against the administration and held the view that security agencies should be on alert to the legislators' antics, to Gochinere's antics, that behind closed doors, he has been holding meetings, plotting to spread falsehoods and misinformation to destabilize the public, that he deserves to be investigated, that what is their interest in Dangote's refinery, that he deserves to be investigated rather than commended because he is prognosing into the affairs of a Kayari, that in fact they have every reason to suspect that the cause for Mali Kayari's um, uh, you know, removal are targeted at President Bola Tinibu who is the commander-in-chief of armed forces and the petroleum minister. So they've called on the House not to stop at the dissolution of the Advocate Committee set up to implement the scandalous agenda of Ugo Chinere, but also to investigate Ugo Chinere's interest in Dangote's refinery. According to them, Ugo Chinere and his members, they want to spread falsehoods about Tinibu's government, about Tinibu's administration. So, my country people, a lot is really going on concerning Ugo Chiniri and his members and his House of Rep members that they are trying to, you know, drag Tinibu's administration to the mud. That they want to drag Tinibu's administration to the mud. They are not happy with Tinibu at all. So they are doing all this thing, trying to deploy blackmail against the president, you know, trying to manipulate one or two things against the president. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? Because Ugo Chinere has been, to me, a voice in the wilderness that has been crying out to the public. He has been trying to expose this long age fraud in the NNPC. In the NNPCL, especially since Tinibu assumed office, Ugo Chinere has been an unstoppable force in the House of Representatives. He has been a strong voice in the House of Rep. So I don't know why some people are saying that uh, he's trying to drag the president to the mud. Does it mean that Ugo Chinere has other hidden agendas that he's not telling Nigerians? Because personally, I see what Ugo Chinere is doing as an opposition party's work. He's trying to tell the ruling party to do the right thing. It is the right of the opposition party to scrutinize this government constructively, in a constructively manner. Not to insult or drag the president whatsoever, but to get to the truth of things. So if there's something fishy going on, they should allow Gochinere to investigate. So long as he has the country at heart and he wants this country to move forward, then Nigerians do not have any problem with this. And I don't see any reason why people should have a problem with this. Except there's something they are not telling us. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.